Hey Norwegian cruise fans and welcome to my channel Cruise with Grant where we talk about all things Norwegian cruise lines. At the end of 2023, Norwegian announced their newest ship, the Norwegian Aqua, the first in a brand new Prima Plus class of ships. In the last month, Norwegians made some big announcements about progress with bringing this state-of-the-art ship to life, and also about their onboard culinary offerings. In today's video, I'm gonna run down everything that you need to know before Aqua launches in May of 2025. So without further ado, let's get into it. Before we get into the most recent updates, if you're looking for more information about Aqua, I have made a previous video that runs down all of the information that was shared by Norwegian when this new class of ship was announced. I'll put a link to that video in the description below. Now let's talk about the first major announcement that Norwegian has made about the process of making Aqua a reality. The Norwegian Aqua is being constructed in the Fincantieri shipyards in Italy. This is the same shipyard that constructed Norwegian Viva and Prima. Back at the end of April, they announced a major milestone with Norwegian Aqua's exterior work being essentially completed. They were able to move the ship from dry dock and go through a process that they call a float out, which is the first time that the ship actually makes contact with water. The float out is a big part of maritime tradition and one that was celebrated both by Fincantieri and also by Norwegian Cruise Line. Ceremonial activities included breaking a bottle of champagne over the hull of the ship, a blessing from a local chaplain, and also the minting of two ceremonial coins, which are symbolic of asking for favor from the gods to give the ship a good life at sea. I have to admit, when I first saw the artist's renderings for the hull design on Aqua, I was a little bit skeptical. The super colorful artwork felt a little bit overly ambitious, and I wasn't sure how it would actually be realized. Now that we're able to see what the exterior looks like in person, I have to say it looks really beautiful and it feels like a return to a little bit of old school Norwegian. Unlike Prima and Viva that had this monochromatic blue design on the outside, this feels a little bit more akin to some of the colorful designs that we saw in ships like Norwegian Breakaway and Encore. Although I haven't booked any cruises on Aqua just yet, I am looking forward to having the chance to scope out this hull artwork for myself. Now at the same time that Norwegian was celebrating the float out of Aqua, they also announced some big culinary changes that they were going to be making to Aqua's onboard offerings. The first announcement that they made was the introduction of Suko Thai, the first Thai specialty restaurant that was going to be available on the Norwegian fleet. In their press release, they've described Suko Thai's cuisine as being twists on Thai classics, things like salt and pepper prawns and also Thai cashew chicken. Like the cuisine that's gonna be on offer, they've described the ambiance as being something that blends together classics as well as contemporary design. While I am a huge fan of the cuisine from East and Southeast Asia, I have to say I'm very curious about how Norwegian is gonna do with handling Thai cuisine as a specialty restaurant. My experience with Asian food on board my cruises has been a bit of a love-hate one. Some of the complimentary options like Ginza and the Shanghai Noodle Bar have had very mediocre Asian food. Maybe I'm just spoiled with what's available on offer at home, but I'm really hoping that they get this right, knowing the quality of ingredients and talented chefs that they have access to for their fleet. The second culinary announcement is very welcome and shows that Norwegian is looking to stay in line with some of its other competitors like Carnival, who recently introduced similar changes to their menus on board. The Prima class of ships introduced a super popular new food venue on board called the Indulge Food Hall. This new concept meant that you could sit at a table grab a tablet, and you could order from a range of different types of cuisines and they deliver it right to you. On board Aqua, we're going to see the first brand new venue added to Indulge Food Hall that's entirely plant-based. 
This venue called Plantery will have a range of different plant-based bowls, including things like smoked tempeh, glazed carrots, and tabbouleh. As somebody who's eating a lot more vegetarian and vegan options these days, I have to say Plantery's introduction is really welcome. It's great to see that Norwegian is providing their guests with more options to get plant-based food without having to request a special diet accommodation. In addition to these big announcements, Norwegian also announced some small refinements that they'll be making on board Aqua based on the lessons that they've learned from Norwegian Viva and Prima. A few of your favorite onboard bars, like the Belvedere Bar, Whiskey Bar, and Metropolitan Sale and Sustain Bar, are going to be relocated to different venues to provide you with a new experience. The Commodore Room, which is one of the main dining venues on board Aqua, as well as Nama Sushi and Sashimi, are also going to undergo transformations in terms of their design. The last announcement that Norwegian made is one that I think most guests will be cheering about, and that's the expansion of some of the venues that people described as just being too small on Viva and Prima. The local bar and grill, which is Norwegian's 24-7 casual eatery, is going to be expanded along with Hasuki, the Japanese hibachi experience, and Cagney's Steakhouse, which is Norwegian's high-end American-style steakhouse. So are you like me and starting to get excited about Aqua's premiere in the spring of 2025? What do you think of these new additions and is there something else that you'd like to see on board? Please let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please remember to give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. There's just a few of you who are watching who are subscribed right now and it'd be great if we could continue to build our community. Thanks so much for watching today. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye!